Stephen Jill here. Hello. Welcome to the House Academy Show, entertaining real estate investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from sunny Southern California. Today, Jill and I talk about the female way to flip a house with Jill DeWitt. And as a kid, <laughs> one of my parents repeatedly drilled this concept into my head. Men and women are the same. This is the 60s and 70s. Men and women are the same and need to be, they see things the same. They should be treated the same. They're the same. I think I know what gender that person was. <laughs> and I don't necessarily agree. One of the greatest things about Jill, I mean, there's a million great things about Jill. One oh. of the greatest things about Jill is that she embraces and enjoys her gender. I do. I love being a girl. <laughs> and she, you know, she likes taking baths. And she's not, doesn't make excuses for it. No. She likes uh, you jewelry, know, putting shiny a dress things. on. <laughs> she likes shiny stuff, jewelry. Yeah. She, she just good. enjoys her gender. And I've, there's very few people that I've, I've met, you know, or I got, had a personal relationship with in my life that Thank are this you. way. No, so, I like the door being held open for me. I think that. <laughs> I love all that. <laughs> you know, I think that. Men and women are certainly capable of accomplishing the, the same amount of success. Sure. Uh, you know, I was just thinking for, uh, last week, because we were on vacation now, the two women in our organization are the ones that are paid the most. Hmm. With, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So, and it's just, it's because of the nature of their, their position, but they're just higher up in the whole chain. Right. But, uh, you know, I, I think there's some definite differences between men and women. And I think sure. it's ridiculous to walk around this planet and say, in say the, there isn't that everybody's the same. I don't mean unequal. They're <laughs> certainly equal. I just mean women are into certain types of television shows and men are generally in, into different types of television yeah. shows. So and to, to really to, to not embrace that and to try to make it something that it's not is is going to ultimately end in less money in your bank. The facts are this. <laughs> we all know that women drive the drive the buying decisions for a lot of things. Women uh, are in a consumers. household, right? I mean women buy cars, they buy houses. They buy the buy, houses. They choose a the house location. They tell you where you're going to live, right? They will probably tell yeah. you what jobs you're going to interview. A lot of them do that. They're like, "Oh babe, we need to make X. You better keep up kind of thing." And you need Absolutely. to apply for that job, not that job. You know, all kinds of decisions. So yeah. I I just think that if you don't realize it and embrace it, you're missing out. I embrace it. I love being a woman that knows what's going on and, you know, still arguably there's a lot of men in my line of business. That's a fact, right? So especially on, you know, this is the House Academy show, but especially over on the Land Academy show. It just seems like there's a lot of guys. I don't know. but And I love it because I deal with a lot of men. Um, but And I like, and I use being a woman. Of course you should. To my advantage. Absolutely. Thank you. But that's not, this, this is a little bit different though. What I'm going to talk about today, uh, the female way to flip a house. I have some, some, I think some interesting, obvious differences between you and me, which you're going to weigh in on. And I have some tips for those of you that are not female. <laughs> we can help you. <laughs> Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the houseacademy.com online community. It's free. Well, this is an easy question. John asks, do I need a website if I'm wholesaling houses? Yes. It's a great question. When you send mail out, First thing that people do, I mean, think about yourself. Before you buy something on Amazon or anything online, you go and look at ratings. You look at other people's feedback. Uh, you know, you make sure that you're going to make an intelligent, informed decision before you buy anything. It's the same thing with when somebody gets a letter and it says, hey, I'd like to buy your house for uh, $128,000 or whatever the number ends up being. Their first reaction is, all right, well, maybe I would actually like to sell my house. I should check these people out before I call them back. They need, they need to be directed to, in that letter, a website that makes you look like you know what you're talking about. Uh, and it needs to be done pretty well. It doesn't have to be complicated or a lot of pages or any of that stuff, but it does have to explain who you are, 
Um, I, I always recommend that uh, you have your face on that site. Jill and I, uh, we use Bewit, B-U-W-I-T, which is a combination of our last names. And we say, hey, you know, we're for real. We, we have these community. We're part of this community, uh, Hus Academy community. We've done a lot of deals, and uh, we'd like yours to be next. Mm -hmm. And we, and we, I use the sentence. I think uh, we take this business and your satisfaction very seriously. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you need a website. Um, I wouldn't spend a lot of time or a ton of energy on it. I wouldn't probably spend more than five hundred bucks if you're going to outsource it entirely. But put That's a picture you of you and your spouse and your dog and maybe your kids. And let everybody know you're a real person mm -hmm. and, and you're serious. I also go so far, too, is make sure all your social media ties together, yeah. too. Make sure that looks good. Your LinkedIn shows that you're an investor. Yeah, that's great. Maybe put your company name on there because they'll, they'll check all that mm -hmm. out. You know, if you used to be an engineer or you're an engineer now, that adds credibility. Um, if you're buying property in Texas and you live in Texas, that's going to add some credibility. So you want to establish in credibility and start very right from the beginning to earn their trust. That's what this is all about. Jill, that's great advice to tie that all that stuff in. Thank you. You know, when we, Jill and I do a lot of hiring. That's the first thing we do when we get a resume and oh, okay, the resume looks pretty good. Like, looks like they're, they have some experience for the actual job that they're applying for. Not like the 9,000 other resumes that we got from Starbucks, but anyway. Okay. <laughs> The first thing we do is how, go on. How, how food service <laughs> and real estate go together, I have still have yet to figure that out. Hey, if I can bartend, I can do this. Somebody somewhere Hold on. told this generation to yes. apply for every Everything. Job. Just throw it out there and see what sticks. Yeah. No, don't do that. Please don't What do is that. that? I don't know. I don't we didn't either. tell our kids that. No. Okay. I've modeled our whole, these whole businesses on data-driven, intelligent decisions and reaching out to the right people. Correct. And, and not wasting anyone's time. Yeah. And by handing them a letter, an offer, you can either you can either act on it or not act on it. It doesn't matter to me. If you work for Starbucks and you see a job offer from us for that says vice president of acquisition, real estate acquisitions, just just stop. Unless you are the <laughs> Starbucks vice president of acquisitions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then we do want to talk. <laughs> That would be okay. <laughs> right. I'm not dumping at Starbucks. Could be anything. I mean, there is a position there. Okay. <laughs> Establish the credibility. That's all I'm saying. Today's topic: <laughs> the female way to flip houses with Jill Dewitt. This is the meat of the show. Here's the thing: in Land Academy, the other group, it's all men. There's like, you know, it's predominantly men. That's what I was trying to get at. I agree. And and men don't care. Men don't care about what stuff looks like or what it smells like, or they just want to get a deal done. That's and what's so great it's about very dirt. Different, yeah. <sighs> it's a very different approach to doing stuff. Houses, you know, it's where people live. Right. Women are generally, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Women are nesters. You know, that's just that we're, we're wired differently. Men are hunters and gatherers and stuff. And land is just something that's in a man's DNA, mm. especially American. And so I'm not saying it's not in a, a woman's, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, and, and some women are probably love it more than, than men. Houses, for whatever reason, really sing to women, and they should. It's, it's true. I can't explain it. We even talk about it often. Mm -hmm. Like, I always need to have one primary residence, and it's kind of silly. I like to have a place to put my Christmas decorations, <laughs> just like a few <laughs> things. Yeah, we have long had this discussion. He's like, let's just live out of a hotel. For the rest of our lives, I run the numbers. I could absolutely we could have do room that. service, and we never write a utility check or payment again. How great is this? And I'm like, okay, I could do it for a while, but I still need one primary place to put some of my things. And it's such, it's just a, it's just DNA. You're right. Yeah. That's all it is. So what's interesting is this ties into the topic. So we can use our DNA as a woman to connect with our sellers who have houses. And the buyers of houses, and 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 here's some of the differences. First, when I'm buying something, I'm going to be talking to that seller, and I can kind of understand with them. Stephen wouldn't be able to. I can relate to them. Gosh, I I know we need to sell. Our kids are gone. I don't need this much room anymore. This is great, but oh god, the garage is a mess, and I got so much to do. Um, I'm afraid. I don't know how I'm going to make it all work, and. Can we do it in 30 days? You know, we can have those conversations. That's beautiful, Nancy. Sign the offer. <laughs> See, that's how you are. 
That's Steven, a beautiful story. Steven's like, are you done yet? Yep. <laughs> Save it for somebody who cares. That's, what you <laughs> That's the guy way. The woman would be like, I get it. Mm-hmm. And it is a big deal. This is a big step. But think about how much happier you're going to be when it's all done. And you're living in your dream condo on the beach in Florida because you told me that's where you're moving. And yeah, it's going to be a little bit of work, but I know you can do it. How, and how can I help? Oh, I can help find some movers. That's no big deal. And part of the reason you're selling to me is you don't have to remodel the kitchen. Isn't that great? No, nothing to think about there. You know, we can totally work with them and we want to make it an easy sale and everybody to be happy. Now on the, go ahead. You have more to say? Women have feelings. We do. Women wake up in the morning and start to have feelings and it doesn't stop the the whole day. They have feelings and how they, how does this, women walk into a house and they, they, oh yeah, they would say it's how, how the house makes them feel. Mm -hmm. And so a new kitchen that's all clean makes women feel better. That's true. That's very true. So that goes, that goes on the sell side. So now flip it. Now I'm using my female intuition to properly sell a house. A guy would be like, don't even bother sweeping it. They're going to tear it down anyway or whatever they're going to do. It doesn't matter. They're going to rip out that carpet. Who who cares? It's just a house. All it is, it's a line item on a spreadsheet. And I don't understand why everyone doesn't think of it as the price, price per, per square, square foot. foot. <laughs> <laughs> who cares what it looks like? Well, hold on a moment. Um, sometimes that applies because true, because sometimes we are selling off and that's my first choice. Often we're selling and I'm targeting wholesalers, but you better believe the retail buyer uh, who wants to be in that neighborhood, they're going to come look at it too. And if you can do some things to make it nice, like even some of the, you know, things that we have had that looked not that great, were pretty awful, were new going to be ripped up. You better believe I had cookies and uh, flowers and waters. So at least when everybody came in that front door, I had a treat for them there. And they like that. So if you're going so so far to as actually do the renovations yourself, because we have a lot of house caddy members that do. We have, we have house caddy members. That th- I think it's like 50-50 if I had to guess. I think 50% of our house caddy members are like us. They're like, I'm not doing anything to it. Yeah. I don't I have They're a construction company. I don't want a construction yeah. company. I've been there, done that. I hated it. I just want to buy it, flip it, move on like you guys do. And then I think the other 50% are like, hey, I've been doing this for years. I've already got the established. I own my own construction company. I got that down. I came to House Academy because I needed to find the deals. Yeah, I want so. cheaper I want cheaper <laughs> stuff to, to renovate. Exactly. I'm buying them better and I'm finding more deals faster and easier. That's the thing. So for those people that are going taking it all the way to the end, this is you know what I'm saying. You need to have a woman involved. That's a right. woman's gonna make sure that. Uh, it's staged nicely. A woman's going to even think about staging, number one. A woman's going to make sure there's fresh flowers. Remember that one that I I would go once a week and swap out the flowers. And I would refresh yeah. the snacks, make sure there's water and snacks for whoever walked through the front door. We weren't we weren't usually there. We had a lockbox and people could come by. And I always made sure that they would walk in and go, oh, wow, it smells yeah. good. And it looks nice. And look, there's some snacks here. And It's not just houses either. It's everything. Like, mm-hmm. you know, Jill and I. I'm famous for walking in a several situ- any type of situation saying, you know what? There's a woman involved in this. Oh, you can definitely tell, and not just houses, like companies, websites. You can see if a woman has been in, was involved in building a website. A hotel room. Our, our IT person. <laughs> oh, Hot- yeah. Hotel room, bathroom, lighting. Every, every yeah. woman listening right now goes, oh, yes. You can walk into any hotel room, and if the lighting in the bathroom stinks, you know there was not a woman involved. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, our IT staff is all females for a reason. Mm-hmm. I, I am with intent mm-hmm. chose women because they just they care. They care about yeah. what stuff looks like and what the impression is, and they feel their way through things, which is really, really, really helpful with houses. With land, not so much. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you know. I'm not. I'm, I'm not going to disclose myself anymore. What do you mean? I'm just. I'm not. I'm not going to say. There's always exceptions, right? Oh, of course. So there's some women that are into land more than men, and vice versa. There's some men that are more into interior design more than women. That's true. There and always so are. There's exceptions. always that. And yeah. I'm not saying any. Like, that's, that's fair. More power to everybody is what I'm saying. Anyway. Well, if you can embrace your female side, <laughs> whoever you are, 
and make that asset uh, where the person we all know, that we all want that buyer to walk in and just fall in love. Yeah. The husband's going to fall in love with the, or the, the non-female uh, side of the brain of that, whoever it is, is going to fall in love with the price per square foot. You want the other side of the brain to go, oh, I can see myself here. Next time you have an hour to kill, go on to realtor.com and go where you live and look at houses and the pictures that have been taken. You can tell who's if a woman took the pictures or a man right away. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> I, it, this cracks me up. I have another one. I have never looked at a house and seen a picture of the garage. Oh. Garage is incredibly important to me for a lot of reasons. It they is absolutely it. overlooked. Do you know how I can tell right away who took the pictures? The toilet seat is up. <laughs> Yeah. A woman will walk around and quickly rearrange we'll the towels. Stuff. Yeah. She cares. And put the toilet seat down. Care. And even turn the phone this way. Maybe. And they would uh, open up the curtains so we can have some light in the room, turn on a light. First of all, guys don't do that. Right. Because <laughs> men don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys walk around like the price should speak for itself. Yeah. Move on. And the location. I'm like, come on. But, but you know what? What's funny is because. You need to have us involved. You really do. Oh, yeah. Or at least someone who thinks like us. Because, I think it's mutual. Because we're going to, you want people to, if they're going to go look at your property at this point, like we just talked about walking on the car a lot, you're already, you're already into Ford or you're into Mercedes or whatever it is. You're walking on that lot for a reason. If they're going to get in the car and actually drive and walk in that place, you want to, to you want to push them over the edge, tip yeah. the scale, whatever Make it is. Make it easy. Yeah. And, and have a deal. You want to walk in, fall in love, and uh, not want to leave. Yep. Happy you could join us today. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you can find us over on the Land Academy Show. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're right here on the House Academy Show. Tomorrow, the episode on the Land Academy Show is called Advice from Current Members and the, that they have for new investors. Current Members' Advice for New Investors. That's you are not alone. In your real estate ambition. The source of that is uh, the survey. This massive survey that Jill sent out for uh, our existing mem- for our existing members about what's important to them. And it's really, really telling. Mm-hmm. We do it every year at the end of every year, and it's it's uh we're gonna get get into it. Tomorrow. It'll be good. We're gonna get into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the House Academy show remains commercial free for you, our loyal listener. So wherever you're watching, wherever you're listening. Please subscribe and rate us there. We, we are Stephen Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. <laughs>